Hi, South Point friends and family, Matt here. Man, I miss being together. South Point deeply cares for you and your family, and we are committed to continuing to be for you uh, despite the unexpected and the unknown. Now, in a moment, I'm gonna give you an update on South Point's regathering plan. But before we do that, I wanna remind us that South Point has never been closed. Did you know that over 150 first-time decisions for Jesus have been made since we went fully digital? South Point has been able to serve our community. We've provided weekly groceries for families in our South Point's after-school program and the Three Hoax Homeless Shelter. We bought laptops for students so they could continue their digital education. We put on a free three-day community movie event so people would be able to safely have fun. We met digitally and had small groups, and we currently have over 30 small groups still available. We did weekly devotional studies on Facebook and Midweeks with Matt, and a ton more that would take up too much time. And oh, by the way, we started construction on our new permanent campus. Let's never forget, church isn't a building, it's a community of people who love Jesus and love their neighbors like Christ did. I wanna take a second to say thanks to all of you who've continued to financially partner with us sacrificially so that we can care for others and make Jesus famous. Now today we're gonna to share South Point's regathering plan and as I do, I just wanna remind everyone that in the season of the unexpected and the unknown, our plans will remain flexible and adjustable. So our first step is to have a church-wide in-person gathering on our property, Saturday, October 10th, weather permitting, of course. Now we've tried this several times through the summer, but the record rainfall has had other ideas. Our second step is to have a baptism event on Sunday, November 15th. Now the specifics are to be announced as we wanna do this safely as possible so that we can protect you and your family. And our final step to regather in person for services is to target Sunday, December 6th. Now, due to practical and strategic and economical reasons, we'll regather as one campus as this will allow us to best fulfill our mission. Also, because we don't have access to any of the public school locations, and by the way, we are very grateful. Calvert County and St. Mary's County have been really great partners. So we'll need a new location to meet. And so we've determined that RC Theaters in California, Maryland will be our new location. We believe this movie theater is both a cultural fit for flexibility and provides good access for our broad communities. And I get it. You probably have a million questions about what regathering will look like. And we wish we had a million answers for you. The truth is, is that the dynamics of group gathering changes almost daily. What we think today will probably be different tomorrow. We've been in consistent contact with Dr. Brewster, the St. Mary's County Health Officer, and we'll continue to be in contact as we plan what physical regathering looks like. Lastly, I can't wait to be together. However, at the core principle of this pandemic that we've been following is this truth. Love means we won't rush back for ourselves and hurt how people see Jesus and his church. So let's continue to love our neighbors and hold on because the best is yet to come. And never forget, you matter deeply to God.